Oh, guys, there are people uh, called the civil organization or civil society groups who are saying Helen Z look, not Helen Zilliman, guys, Jenji Motsaka should decline the offer of her being the minister or, or her role as a minister of police because they are saying, I, when I, when I, when I, you are not a good, um, <laughs> when I, you are not a good, uh, good, you're not, so, you, you, know, you have done nothing. Nothing. Uh, there's nothing good in you that makes you feel like, like that, that. That recommends you for the position. Oh, that is what people are saying. But nevertheless, let me tell you this as well. Um, it is funny. <laughs> I came across a video. <laughs> that video on Twitter. <laughs> it's so they captured a, sn a sniper of oh Helen. Oh look, um, oh, oh, Angie Mutsaka, right? As she was like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. So they said, uh, this is a Jimotsaka after she mistakenly bombed Swaziland and Lisut. She mistakenly bombed these two countries. Now she's asking, what were you doing? I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> right. Um, it's a pity. I, I I don't have that snippet. <laughs> and you're like, hey, Jimutsaka, it's going to bomb the other countries by mistake. Right. So, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to take you through that. There's an article released by Ichakaranda FM News. So, I'm going to have to look at the, this article was released by Uma Maloko Mpaba Loboroto. Right. Yeah, so I'm going to have to take you through that article. It was released today. The heading of the article says, Civil, Civil Organization Save South Africa has added its voice to those questioning the, the sustainability of Njimo Tsecha as a defense minister. Um, I must say that, uh, to be quite honest, there are people that you would have thought would, they will make good leadership, good leaders there. I don't think people would have complained if uh, as old as she is, Unale de Pando, I don't think people have, would have complained if Unale de Pando was made a minister of a minister of um, a minister of e e defense. Uh, look, yes, South African Defense Force. I don't think people would have uh, would have would have complained because if you look at Unale de Pando, to be quite honest, as old as she is, but wow, wow, the most active woman, the most active person. You know what I'm saying? Um, and when she speaks. She's, she's clear. You know what I'm saying? You, that, that was Nale Di Pando. Ah, okay. Ramaphosa decided, I let's remove Nale Di Pando and bring Oenji Mutsaka. Now, Oenji Mutsaka, uh, we'll talk about he, her history, go education. We've got problems today, go education. It, those problems emanated while she was there as a minister of a basic education. Well, there's a, this problem that I want us to solve, and it is this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financially contributing to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay let's let's go through the article we'll solve the other problem later on the organization wants the former basic uh, education minister to decline the offer for the sake of the country they are saying mochaka and jimotaka will be sown, and has already been sown, as of me reading this, has already been sown, right? She replaced Utogo Didiza, who is now the Speaker of the National Assembly. Her new appointment shocked thousands of South Africans on Sunday evening, with others expressing their shock uh, 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 on, on, on Twitter, or look, on, on, on X, formerly known as, as Twitter. Uh, oh, 
ulo u u enje mutsaha leaves a lot to be desired but we'll go back to her history when she was when she was when she was involved with basic education then Koda on a uh, ex says Angie has now been moved to minister of defense from minister of basic education how are those two jobs related what are transferable skills she's gone from kids to soldiers she's gone from etc to e to i e i e d hmm quite interesting another tweet says uh jem keys posted i have nothing against mama Angie mutsaha but being a defense minister at uh, at the age of 69 old and taking over from a 64 year old wow tandi tandi modi must be demoralizing to some of the sndf generals oh okay and then u para the minister of defense wakala <laughs> but she has two bachelor degree uh, degrees in education uh master's degree in education yet she still uh deployed for the department look well, yet she still uh deployed edu- uh, department of education now imagine uh oh, oh sorry guys somebody says she has two bachelors of degrees in education master degree in education yet she still destroyed the department of education now imagine she does not know anything about national defense ramaphosa when look when i catch you <laughs> bruno king kong let's give njimotsekha her flowers she has she has been a minister of basic education for a decade as a local as a president for 24 hours now minister of national defense <laughs> <laughs> she's that girl <laughs> that's what somebody says so some, someone says save south africa teboho uh mali malopana says mochaka mochaka is not suitable candidate for the role okay and then she says in our view that such a demanding role should have been given to someone with military background in order to easily understand the operations within the ministry we we further refuse to support the appointment due to her past failure and the lack of decisive uh, leadership in look like, in ministry of education right uh, she led over a decade she look uh, the call we are making is to help the former minister of education to do uh introspection and think for the safety and the security of the people of South Africa we are saying uh, may ng look may ng just do it resign for the sake of the 60 millions of South Africans oh now to those who don't know it is under under like one of the things that uh the basic education has ever produced is uh research has proven that people uh can't read a uh, properly people have got a problem of spelling i'm talking about a matriculated person has got a problem of spelling uh, they reduce the passing mark to 30 39% you can pass at at, at just at 39 right 39% you don't need to them uh, and also they also introduce this thing called um there are phases right you can't fail each phase twice for instance if you don't want to fail matric This is what you need to do. It's it's grade 12, 10, it's grade 12, 11, grade 12, 11 and 10. That that's a phase. It's considered a phase. Count it that way. Not backward but yeah, you can count it that way. So it's 10, 11, 12, it's a phase. So if you don't want to fail grade 12 according to Anjumutsaha, you must fail grade 10 or 11. If you fail here, when you get to if you fail here at 10, when you get to 11, they will say fail but progress. If you look and also when you get to metric they will say fail but progress because of the law that says you can't fail at each phase twice you can't that's enjimotsekha a product of enjimotsekha people who cannot read or write under coming from the basic education then you take that person and you reward her and you ask yourself can't 
what is the qualification criteria for one to choose a minister? 